Number two from the 2015 New Hire paper one. Format question and a fairly straightforward one. Again, the first two questions so far have been fairly easy. Find the equation of the tangent to this curve at the point where x is negative 2. So, find the equation of the tangent. That's the equation of a line. You'll be looking to use y minus b equals mx minus a, meaning you'll need the values of these three parameters, these three numbers to put into the equation. And they come from the fact that in every point in a curve, there are three things. There's an x-coordinate, a y-coordinate, and the curve has a slope. It has a gradient given by the derivative. Well, we've got the equation for working out y. That's the coordinate equation, the equation of the curve. You need an equation for the gradient. That'll be the derived equation, the one that's derived from it, the derivative. So the first step will be differentiate. dy by dx will be, and it's a very simple one, 3 times 2 is 6, take 1 off the power, 6x squared. The constant disappears, of course, because it's constant, so it doesn't change. And there's the first mark. Not just knowing to differentiate, but differentiating. Now you've got your two equations. This is the y equation to work out the y coordinate. This is the gradient equation to work out the gradient. In fact, quite often when you write that, the first thing you should write is the gradient is given by dy by dx, which equals that. Now it's just a case of working them out in any order you like. So x is negative 2, putting it into the first one. y would be 2 times the negative 2 cubed plus 3. It is paper 1, so you've got to do this in your head, but there's not a lot to it. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8, doubled is negative 16, but add on 3 is negative 13. And that's a mark x is negative 2, means the gradient is given by 6 times the negative 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 6 is 24. That's a mark. There's three marks. And lastly, so what is this tangent? Well, it's a line. y minus b is mx minus a. Is the template you're going to use. Maybe put that in little inverted commas, because strictly speaking, there's no A's or B's anywhere, but I have to find an M. So, Y minus the Y coordinate, so it'll be Y plus 13, is M, whoops, a daisy, is 24 times X minus A, which is X plus 2. Tidy that up. In the marking scheme, it actually has it in the tidied up form. That'll be 24X plus 48, but minus 13 makes plus 35. There's the last mark. So there wasn't a lot. Differentiate it, find the value of y, find the value of the gradient, and put it into the equation of a line. In fact, when you look at the marking scheme, you see that this mark here would have been obtained at this very first stage, where you just put the numbers in. I thought they are going past that. You should really always put it into this form where you can then use it usefully. But nevertheless, another simple four marks to start off with.